Have you ever Googled yourself? Go on, give it a go. What your name is, how common or uncommon it is, as well as what existing information there is out there about you will influence what results come back. But how do you make sure that people find the actual you and all your excellent research and not someone else entirely? In this video, we are going to introduce you to three approaches that can help you manage your online presence. ORCID, social media, and Google Scholar. ORCID stands for Open Researcher and Contributor ID and essentially gives you a unique alphanumeric identifier that only you can use. It helps connect people up with your work through giving you an online profile page that you can populate as much or as little as you want. Ensuring that your ORCID is attached to any research outputs that you may publish, such as journal articles, ensures that people are able to match the work to you and not someone else who may have a similar name to you. This is great in the huge world of academia. ORCID also works well with various indexing services. So if a system spots your ORCID attached to a new paper, you can get it automatically added to your ORCID profile, as well as other services such as symplectic elements. This is a great way of getting tech to do a lot of the heavy lifting for you, so you can get on with the important business of actually doing research, so you can write your next paper. Social media is a powerful tool, depending on how you use it, of course. There are many options out there for you to consider using. If you want to write at length about your work and experiences as a researcher, then blogging might be the social media platform for you. If you want to have short conversations with fellow researchers and find out about new projects from other research groups, then Twitter might be a good option too. As with all things online, social media can be a power for good and it can also be manipulated for bad intentions. So make sure you share what you want to share and keep what you don't want to share private. Many platforms like Twitter have blocking and other limiting functions that help you avoid any users who might want to target you because of what you're researching. Anything to do with vaccinations is always a hot topic online. However, being on one of the big social media platforms does mean people will be able to find you and your work easily, as well as being able to reach out to you to discuss possible collaboration opportunities. And finally, we have Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a great tool for searching for academic literature in combination with our many databases, of course. But did you know that you can set up an author profile for yourself? If anyone looks for you on Google Scholar, your profile will pop up and they'll be able to look at what things you've written, as well as further information about your research interests, how to get in touch with you, as well as options to keep up to date with what new research you might be publishing. As with tools such as ORCID, Google Scholar can also sweep through new research and let you know if there's a newly published output with your name on it, so you can make sure your profile is as up to date as possible with that latest thing you just did. And because Google Scholar is a Google product, It'll help push the more academic focused profiles that you have higher up any search results rather than having you get buried among irrelevant results or people that just aren't you. So three things to try out when managing your online presence. Which one will you try first? Music